teacher, you mentioned about inner work. We need to do inner work first. What's inner work? How do I do them? What is this inner work we talk about? In order that you can be what you are supposed to be because the world needs you. What is this inner work? This inner work, first of all, is because of too much externalization. So before we come into inner work, if you look at a human being, the way the human being relates to life, their relationship to life and self, it's all about outside, right? What happens on the outside or what doesn't happen on the outside? What opportunities do they have or they don't have? What possessions, what material things do they have? What experiences can they have? And it's externalization. So we use externalization and then try to make sense and hope to feel good. It doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. So inner work means you take that attention away from the externalization, from the outside, the external, and then, and it is this attention is not a serious, somber attention. We can say it is a loving attention, where you turn the loving attention to hear this core, this center, right? This is where the field, whether it's the field of peace or the field of violence or the field of healing or the field of love, emanates from or the field of conflict so when you turn the attention and let's make it loving attention because this is also deeply lacking in the world our attitude towards how we look at something we can be so mean we can look at ourselves in such a critical way we can look at others we do in such a critical way judgmental way so what if, if we adjust the way we look, that it is a loving attention. And we turn this loving attention, because usually most people look out and judge and assume and project and criticize. And then they have a view and that affects how they feel. And it compromises what they are, but they don't realize it. So what if we withdraw that, this is a loving attention and look, at the self. Why do we want to look? We are not looking to criticize. That way is the old way, is the unloving way, is the unkind way. And this is a common way. Do you agree? Yes. People look to criticize self, you know, where, where are my inadequacies? What didn't I do right? I should have done it differently. So when we look, we are looking to find the fault. The same as we look at outside, we look to see the fault. But this looking is not looking at what did we do right and what did we do wrong. This looking is looking at patterns. The way your mind thinks. Is that a negative pattern? Or is it a loving pattern? Is it a destructive pattern? Or is it a life-giving pattern when you think of something? So you look to understand the inner work is you need to understand the self. In order that the, you know the guy self. Already we have wonderful our wise thinkers of ancient times know thyself it's a key so the inner work is in order that you understand these energies and forces in you they all have behavior patterns habits and most people don't realize it for example one of you just said i'm a decent person how come i have such a difficult time a hard time with life you know i i am in general, I don't want to harm others, but how comes one, one difficulty or trauma after another happens to me? But what we don't realize that 
It's the way we think, for example, the pattern. A lot of people carry lack of confidence, lack of self-value. This comes from their conditioning. Sense of inadequacy, this is very common. Even those who project a confident self. Mother Ocean have worked with many who say, people think I'm so confident, but actually I'm not. Inside, I feel a lot of times, I feel a lot of anxiety. So the inner work is we have to recognize the patterns within us that we call it, that creates anti-clockwise spin of energy because we're all energy. The way we think creates the movement of energy. So if we tend to have negative thinkings, that is anti-clockwise. And anti-clockwise go downwards. Do you feel, you will, do you think you will feel great if you keep on engaging in anti-clockwise thought patterns? No. no. For sure you wouldn't. So we need to do the work first is to see honesty rather than be defensive. But I'm much better. I used to be worse. <laughs> Some people, when they start the process of work, they already start to justify. But actually, I'm so much better. So that ego here says, so, okay, so you don't have to do anything. Relax, right? So in a work, we can say it is training for mastery. It is to address the aspects within us that is not life-giving, that is life-destroying. So if you have a thought form that is life-destroying, that's born out of non-self-love, non-self-appreciation, then you will not feel you love yourself so much or you appreciate yourself so much, right? You will feel the tension of, I'm not good enough, either I must push harder, in order to achieve it. So we also don't realize, without looking at the inner work, to look at what are the goals that we think, because most people actually have a list, that if I achieve these goals, then it equals, I live happily ever after. <laughs> that is this notion, right? If I strive for that, I live happily ever after. It's not true. Fairy tales are not useful. The truth is, we are in the orbit of the divine. We are actually in a benevolent reality. But as long as we continue to perpetuate destructive thought patterns, destructive emotions, all of us privately seeming good people, then even though we may not act it out, then somehow this collective energy gathers and then we find a group of individuals who act it out. And they will be destroying. And they would be creating fear. But actually we say, they are the terrorists. They are the evil ones. But actually we are, because we are one organism, each person's unresolved, Violent energy within. Non-love is violent energy. We contribute to that. As long as this inner violence within self, and non-love is inner violence, self-attack is inner violence, self-judgment is inner violence, self-damnation is inner violence, then this violent energy we contribute into the collective field because we are part of the collective. And then those who are more negatively polarized, humans, then they will act out. And their actions will be destructive even to people that they don't know because they believe they are carrying out a worthy course. They all genuinely believe what they believe, right? But so it is important for us to realize, 
if we don't do the inner work to restore this state of love, this harmony within ourselves, every single bit of unkind thought that we have towards self or others on any level, be it physical, mental, or emotional, we are contributing to that field of violence. And it is important that every single human being learns this responsibility. How to cultivate that mastery within all of us. Imagine if we have an education system that does that. Rather than we have at present an education system that focuses on the overstimulation of the intellect, the academic brain, right? But the heart nature, the power of the heart, how to relate, how to support, how to give life. We do not teach the individual. So every individual, if their brain does not have the same academic capacity, immediately they feel less, immediately they feel stress, immediately they move themselves out of the benevolent field, the harmony of the whole, and then we begin to have tension. So we, in the inner work, you need to identify the tension in your system. What are you tense about? on the physical level, on the mental level, and on the emotional level. Because tension will give rise to violence, which is non-love frequency. If it's non-love, it's violent. Because we are responsible for the world, the way the world is. We cannot blame just a few groups of individuals. We ask ourselves, have we disarmed the inner terrorist inside that continuously hurt our tender heart, our sacred being? This inner work is also a big subject. <laughs> <laughs> right? But let's start off by observing the thought patterns, and then to choose, choose lovingly. How? So the practice of appreciation. Before we even go to gratitude, appreciation. 